just keep keep saying halal gap lah. That's what you want like to say. To I say like also. yeah, that's true also. A halal gap, mm. right? Thirdly, with Nandini, I feel like um, well, a lot of people are already. I mean, um, they already have existing mental health um, issues. But with um, you know social distancing and the pandemic, oh my god! I'm you know what? Can I just say how disgusted and annoyed I am at these like phrases and words? I'm so bored of seeing saying them every single day. Social distancing, MCO, pandemic. I'm gonna hate these words. <laughs> just keep keep saying halal gap lah. That's what you want like to say. To I say like also. yeah, that's true. So halal gap, yeah. right? Halal gaps. You know, um, I think a lot of people are not doing so well. Um, mm-hmm. I'm seeing some people that I follow on Instagram, <laughs> social media, like posting about um, how they've been feeling. So mm-hmm. a lot of people have um, not the uh, a clinical, you know, uh, uh, anxiety and stuff like that. And some of them, um, they're they're so their anxiety is so bad, but they've run out of medication. Ooh. But um, they are because of the anxiety, they just can't even like get like you know like master the the whatever the will to go and get their med. So it's making them worse, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So like, yeah, I mean, I think just people are not doing so well generally, and I don't know. Like for me, every time like someone you know were to ask me, since you guys are not asking, I'm just going to tell. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> People, I feel like I, I mean, I'm not, I'm fine. Like, um, I do not have, I'm not diagnosed for any mental health um, issues. So, mm-hmm. but whenever I'm feeling a little down, so this is for people who are not on medication, yeah. So I'm not a professional and I just do whatever works for me. So what I do is usually I kind of like tune out and then either like, um, you know, I feel like everyone would have that one thing that would make them feel just a little better. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of us don't have access to a lot of things, but I'm sure... There is always something you can find at home. Like, I mean, when you were kids, like you would always have like a million one things to do at home. Like when you're like a teenager or whatever, so you can kind of, I guess, step back into that. Maybe it's reading. Maybe it's reading a certain kind of material. Maybe it's um, you know, talking to someone on the phone. Maybe yeah. for me, it's usually watching TV shows. So yeah. yeah, it's like you. It's a it's a it's a really good form of escape escapism for me. Like if you're stressed. Then you like watch like five episodes or something, and then you're too busy thinking about the episodes. You're like, how, what, how, when? Then you're like, not even thinking about your own problems already. Then you're like, ah, whatever, who cares? Yeah, you yeah. occupy yeah. yourself with other things. Exactly, but like, then, yeah. yeah. Well, what about you guys? Uh, for me, when I'm stressed about something, right? For example, I'm pissed at someone from work. I was just playing my game, and yeah. imagine that person. I'm bashing that person up in like, my video game. But if that office. doesn't work as well, <laughs> I will healthy. just call yeah. someone and talk to someone, my friend, or yeah. you know, someone that I can share with. Yeah, yeah, I, I I have to agree with Hafiz. Like you know, if you find someone, a close friend, or maybe a family member that you can rant to, you know, just uh, it, it's good for it's good for your mental health because if you just keep mm. it inside, you're just gonna blow up. You're gonna explode. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Most definitely. Like, uh, that's one thing I also wanted to, uh, to point out. Like, even though you're stuck at home, you have the necessary resources to call up your friend. Even if it's just for a few minutes, it means a whole lot to that other person who's probably going through some stuff. And the reason why is because at least you have someone there that's thinking about you, you know? Yeah. So it's kind of like a lifeline as well. Like, for, for me, like, I, I know and I have a lot of friends that deal with a lot of, like, depression, uh, anxiety issues. And now they can't really see their, their therapist or like what Nandini says, they can't really get their medications that they, they need to just kind of go throughout the day like an everyday normal human being. So right. like I've been reading up a lot about mental health and taking courses about mental health and, and whatnot. So if I can share, like there's one thing, like whenever you go through, uh, whenever I have maybe like an anxiety attack, for example, uh, one thing that's very, very good and useful is this thing called the five senses test. So the five senses test is very easy. It's where you kind of kind of gather yourself and you look for uh, five, four, three, two, one. And you just look for normal things like um, five things that you see. So you just turn, look around your place, look for the five things that you see, and then look for four things that you hear mm. as well. You know? mm. Then look for three things that you can feel so you're gathering up your senses, so you're focusing more on what you are inside, you know, so that you don't have a all-out panic attack as well. Two yeah. things that you can taste. Can you taste the air? Go have a drink. Taste that water as well. What do you feel when you taste that water? Do you feel good about it? And one thing that you can smell. So if you like smelling fresh clothes, 
do something that will change your the chemistry in your body so that you can have a better day ahead you know yeah distract yeah. your mind from whatever that's bothering yes. you yeah yeah so that's um, one good thing yeah that's that's a really good um that's a really good suggestion uh for mm. people who can do that for um the rest if that doesn't work for you you can always i, I feel like ranting is always good mm. um, i've also come to realize that a lot of people are ranting online as in like they're just kind of expressing their thoughts and feelings online to you know their followers or people who whatever like just people randomly just putting it out there i think that's also kind of healthy i mean a lot of people may back to differ but i don't see anything wrong with it if you if you really feel like stuck and if you really feel like going on your insta story or whatever and just talking about it right and a bunch mm. of people are listening and i often see like people respond with a lot of kindness when you mm -hmm. speak about what's bothering you online so yeah. not always but i think if you keep your like circle clean and stuff then you know people can you know always like reach out to you and then like maybe give you suggestions and stuff like that so that's great um but for the rest of us who are like who are doing okay i think uh we can kind of step up and look out for our friends look out yeah. for people that mm. we know aren't doing so well so i find it really really like easy and in in kind of just like like kind of do this thing where every morning Um, I know I have a few friends who are not doing so well. I'll just text them every morning and like in whatever like intervals of the day, send them like I don't know, send them memes or like send them stuff that you know will make them feel better. And yeah. maybe, like, video call them, you know, like unexpected stuff that would make them or like send them donuts. Yeah, uh, yeah. Send them flowers. Okay, I yeah, think Nandini's trying to hint on what we should get her. Oh uh, yeah, I, you know, I donuts. Cream, <laughs> thanks, guys. Um, um, <laughs> No, anyway, the yeah, glazed like, one, eh? Yeah, of course. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, you can like do all that stuff. Like, I think anything unexpected would always make like your friends who are not feeling so good or like family members like like perk up their day, like mm. little like distraction, and then they'll be thinking about the donuts and they'll forget about whatever that may be bothering them just for that tiny bit until they can like get back to it and deal with it in a healthier way. But mm. yeah, like let's um look out for each other. Kita jaga kita, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Fly FM, today's hottest music.